Guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Uh, I'm, I'm back with something local again and something that I'm really excited about kind of showing you on the channel today. I was out and about you know, doing some chores and I figured, oh, I got them done pretty quickly. I figured, shit, you know, do I have time for uh, lunch? Yeah, I do. I'm in the ne uh, that neck of the woods. Uh, so I stopped over by the Woodcock Brothers on the boulevard at the Woolitzer building. And I grabbed their beautiful game version two. Man, oh man. This is technically considered a, a New England IPA. Let me grab my notes here. 6.8% uh, New England IPA. Double dry hopped. Strictly Citra sort of beer. Um, I'm using my phone to kind of, uh, to do these reviews. So I'm using my iPad for my notes here. So it says beautiful game. Number two, double dry hopped with, uh, uh exclusively with Citra. What's well, uh, Citra is one of our favorite, uh, hops. We jam this recipe full of them for an intense, bright fruitiness. It pours a very pale, hazy, light straw color. Aromas of orange, peach, pineapple, and grapefruit burst. It has a full creamy mouthfeel from the oats and wheat malt base. Big ripe citrus tropical fruit on the flavor. It's softly bittered for an even, um, for an even finish that is not clawing or biting, but keeps you coming back for that next sip. And I tell you, uh, I went in there uh, strictly because... I kind of knew I was going to be doing my uh, my chores around that neck of the woods. Uh, this was on tap at the Wurlitzer building location. I'm not sure if it's on tap in uh, Wilson. Uh, so if you're around that neck of the woods up in Wilson, uh, you know, kind of consult the webpage just to see what their beer list is, is all about. But uh, I was wholly impressed from the appearance uh, to the aroma, to the flavor, to the price oh another thing it is currently the beer of the week at uh woodcock brothers it's a four dollar pint and it, this is a ten dollar crowler and i just could not say no that was as soon as i i almost looked at my bill and i was like did you forget to charge me for a beer and she's like no this is the beer of the week it, it's only four dollars i was like well grab me a crowler I'm putting it on the video. Again, this is the beautiful game 2.0 or beautiful game number two from Woodcock Brothers with all Citra. So I gotta take my glasses off for this. Look at this thing. Um, it's pretty much the same as it was out of, uh, I guess the tap at the bar. It's got this really great um, sort of like melon sort of, of deep, yellow to it like a like a hazy deep orange hue to it it's super enjoyable looking uh, it is well carbonated and gives you these really nice packed little bubbles on the top and it's just it comes across as like cantaloupey sort of of vibes to it oh, yeah and i get a get a medley of different sort of aromas. Uh, I get sweet and I get a suggestion of dankiness, but then I also get, you're right, I get this grapefruity, citrus sort of, of aromas as well. And it's it just, the whole thing plays really, really well with each other from the looks to the aroma to the, to the, the tasting experience and the body and, um, that's why I was so kind of keen to get it on the video to show everybody because, you know, these these sort of small batches don't seem to last very long, especially like a beer of the week sort of situation where you can get these really great sort of, of deals on beer. I'd say go for it. But yeah, light sweet, light melon, grapefruit, citrus. Yes, 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 and yes. So it checks all the boxes of like a hazy New England, especially a double dry hopped one. Do you know what I mean? The aromas abound and good stuff like that. So let's see how this thing tastes, right? Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> yeah. 
This is so stinking enjoyable. Oh my God. So where to start with this thing, right? I think you're going to initially um, be impressed with its sort of really silky, buttery, smooth mouthfeel. And it leads you into this. Uh, none of these flavors have these, you know, sort of acute angles to them. Um, they're bold and they're turned up to nine and they're turned up to 10, but they're all well-rounded. They're just very robust sort of flavors that I'm describing here, which is another one of those things that just kind of sit you back in your chair and you're just like, am I really drinking this from Woodcock that just released XPA 17 that nobody seemed to like, myself included. And you're just like, yeah, this is a real thing. This is a real phenomenon. So that description that they wrote uh, is pretty spot on. Let me, let me grab these notes again. So we're talking about orange, peach, pineapple, grapefruit. Yes, 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 and yes. I'm thinking more along the peach vibe than any of the other ones. I think a little bit of peach and the grapefruit does transfer over from the aroma into the flavor profile. A little bit on the toned down version of it in the flavor. But you do get a, this great peach presence and it feels like it's full bodied peach it's it's very robust peach and it's it's good and i think that kind of you can mentally uh marry that that sweetness that you're getting on the nose and in the and in the flavor with that peach quality and oh my god it is awesome and the also the uh the looks you know You do get some, yeah, absolutely. You do get a little bit, I'd say darker, not darker as in like uh, like a darker beer, but you do get these more concentrated sort of flavors off the very back end of the beer. Um, seems to be a bit more danky, a little bit more floral notes with that sort of, of grapefruit and pineapple on the back end. Man, oh man. I think you can really appreciate the oats and the wheat malt. Uh, the body is, is, it's not thin on this beer. The body is whole, it's full. The mouthfeel is silky smooth. The whole experience is a, is a yes, 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 and yes. I don't know what they did or how they did it, but I hope they took notes and I hope they do it all the goddamn time. God damn it. Silky smooth. Uh, the 6.8% is a no brainer. Uh, I would drink this all day long if I thought I had a chance at seeing the morning without being a complete zombie. Uh, the mouthfeel again is, is very well done. It's very smooth. There's no grit. There's no bitterness. There's no off flavors. There is literally nothing out of line on this beer. The aftertaste is very mildly pleasant with suggestions of, of grapefruit and pineapple and just like a like a roundabout green sort of uh, light greenery in your mouth uh, does not stick around a long time enough to kind of give you like a yeah I had a pretty decent IPA about uh, two minutes ago and then you're done but um, they're they were wholly spot on with that sort of of uh, non-existent sort of bitterness or or weird aftertaste it does encourage you to keep drinking more and more of this beer and it's this is a great job and as my parting notes you know this is the sort of thing that kind of gets me excited about woodcock right right uh it's like 
you know, you've you've seen the ups and the downs of the different XPA line, and you've seen the ups and downs of their regular um, flagships or their one-offs. Um, and that's what, kind of what gets you upset and what gets your blood pressure going is they would kind of, you know, I know they're capable of making really nice beers. And I'm hoping that that quality and attention to detail makes it back to the next I, uh, XPA line. I really do. But anyway, that's it for me. You guys aren't going to find this in cans. You're not going to find it at consumers or wherever the hell you're at. Uh, if you guys really think that this is up your alley, you're going to have to make it out to Niagara Falls Boulevard uh, out in North Tonawanda at the Worcester Building. And uh, you're going to have to go see them for yourself. Um, but it is holy for all for naught. Like you are going to get up there. You're going to get the bind of glass, which is a wet hopped IPA a wet hopped IPA in frickin' February. Like, are you out of your mind, right? You're gonna get uh, a bind of glass. You're gonna get uh, this uh, this concoction here. And um, I think you're just gonna be wholly satisfied with the drive. But that's, that's just it for me. That's my opinion. This crowler is not gonna be hard to finish. Oh my God. Yes, sir. That's it for me, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed a little look into uh, the Woodcock Brothers. You know what I mean? Beautiful game. I, and this is their beautiful game 2, beautiful game 2.0, whatever it is. They've done an absolutely amazing job on this. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. A uh, little bit long-winded as happens when I get excited about a beer whatnot. So I uh, will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.